Hey there guys, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you to episode 11 of Super Mario RPG. Last time we had a very short half episode, sorry about that, and we saw a random shooting star enter the Geno doll and run into a wall and then kind of run away. It was really weird and didn't make much sense, but let's go check what went on. Let's see. Just head downstairs and... Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Oh, so he went to the forest. I wonder why. Yes, dear, that's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Aw, oh, man. Ma, that was just me. That was just... Well, you know. Now, this was real. I swear, Mom. Really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, guys. Let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time? That's a problem with parents. They never believe their children. No matter what. Mom, I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gino walking into the forest. And looks like she's... Why is she randomly twitching? Oh boy. Oh, this boy is impossible. Well, maybe he is telling the truth. You ever think about that? Why don't you go check for yourself? Jeez. Uh, walking doll? Yeah, sure, pal. I think you need some help. Now scram! Damn it. Why do you not believe me either? Yeah, whatever. I don't care, but... Yeah, this guy's still frozen. Even though it's been, like, a n whole night time. That sucks. Whoa. Alright. So, um, we are gonna go to the forest, I guess. And, if you ha know anything about this, about this game at all, you will know at least this song. I mean, really. Just, here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this song so much. Especially, I, li I really love the remix of it. It's really it's really awesome. I could sing it, but I would suck and you would hate me for it. Because I have a terrible singing voice. Anyways, yeah, so you can pick up random mushrooms along the ground. That's kind of cool. I like that feature of the forest here. And I believe... Oh, okay, well, I guess we're fighting this wiggler. These two wigglers. They're probably weak to the, to the fire or something. Bigger up. Alright, so you're gonna raise your attack. Get all pissed off. Raise your attack. Well, I'm just gonna hit you with my froggy stick. And you're not gonna die. You're gonna. Oh my god. It, did it have red glowing eyes there? Did anyone, did anyone else see that? Jeez, these things do a lot of damage. Alright, please don't kill Mario. Because I know I can't kill you on this turn because Mallow is terrible. Okay, Vigor up. Alright then. We'll go with. Um. Fire orb. Yeah, fireballs, yum. We and yeah, they're weak to that definitely. All right, so that's that. And we got a honey syrup. That's cool. Oh, Mario loves up. Here's level seven. Didn't learn anything. All right, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know. I'm terrible at keeping track of levels like that, but oh well. Anyways, yeah, these guys will just keep coming out, and I think if you, you can like bounce on them. And like you get coins from it for it or something. If you get if you bounce on them ten times, you get a frog coin. I'm gonna see. If, I'll try that once. I'm really terrible at it though. Let's see. Oh yeah. See, I got five. It's not. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's just go down. Yeah, this is like a pipe. You know, pipe dreams. All right. Oh, we got another mushroom over here. Be careful of these mushrooms though, sometimes, because they can turn out to be enemies just like that. Yeah. But I have to show this off anyways. So. Here it is. This is the sports one. No, it's the Amanita. What the hell does that mean? And there's also an Octolot here. Oh my god, I just ate an Octolot. Alright. Yeah, these guys aren't very pow powerful at all. I think the Octolot is actually weak to the Thunderbolt. We're going to try that. But I think the uh, Amanita resists it. Oh no, I guess they both resist it. Alright. Flame Wall. Ah! Why are you trying to copy Mac, bro? Except your flame wall does jack all. Alright. We Let's see. Yeah, I think jump is actually an element in this game. I think it's classified as an element like thunder and fire. Whoa, that thing is weak to that, I guess. So that's kinda cool. Like the jumping element. What kind of things are made of jump? Mario's made of jump. No, Mario's made of awesome. As proven by his awesome battle battling skills. And this is a really easy fight. Might as well just leave it in. 
Oh, HP Max! Hell yeah! For some, for some reason, I'm really hyper while recording this. I don't know if you can tell. But, you know, I'm really hyper and really bored at the same time. I mean, it's just not fun. Oh god. I'm a mushroom! And I just healed by five there. Yeah, these things can turn you into mushrooms with that, but, um... When you're a mushroom, you actually get healed. You actually, like, heal yourself, which is kind of funny. Yeah, it's like you're eating yourself, bit by bit. Just eating away at your own body. God, that's a horrible thought. Anyways, uh, yeah, these are still rap funks. Really? Fucking phone. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I had to take that call. You know, like a business call. Just always have to take it. Goddamn. Oh, well, I'll just leave you alone then. Thought I was gonna have to fight you, but... If you just want to walk away from me, fine. If you don't want to be my friend, I won't stop you. Alright, uh, I think there's, like, something around this area that's hidden. I'm probably thinking of another area. Maybe around here? I don't know. Uh, I didn't do my research on this area before this before this recording session, and now it's really showing. Oh, what's this? Donkey Kong clone? Holy crap. On the second playing Donkey Kong Country all, all over again. It's a buzzer, which is really a zinger, in all honesty, and gorilla. How do you pronounce that gorilla? Whatever, it's a Donkey Kong. I'm just gonna call it Donkey Kong. But he appears to be a slave of some kind. With that stupid ball and chain. But that does not impede him. I like how he, like, just... For some reason, I always loved how that enemy, the gorilla, it just walks right up to you and then it shakes its head. It's like, no. No, you fail. And then it hits you. It's just like, wow. Like... I don't... I've never seen one of, those, one of those run away. Never seen one of those run, run, run I'm tongue-tied. But yeah, I've never seen one of those run away. Yeah, it's really weird, though. Like, I mean, I, I know. I mean, it's, it's really awesome. I was talking about like that. The thing shakes its head at you, and then you like, oh my god. Alrighty then, let's just keep on going here. Go away, you stupid spore thingy. No, off. Oh. Oh guys, hey look at that, Mal level up after this battle, that's sweet! He reached level 7, won't learn anything though, because I think he just learned something every 3 levels, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, cool. Alright, uh, yeah, there's a hidden block there with a flower in it, so don't forget about that. There's a lot of hidden blocks in this maze for some reason. You know, there are many secrets in this game, many. Okay, I, I'm not in tune with the music at all, but, oh well. Can't be in tune with the music all the time, am I right? Yes. And I never really finished my thought on how awesome and funny I think that uh, monkey shaking his head is, the gorilla, but... Oh well, you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. You get the jizz of what I'm saying. Ew, that's nasty. I should not talk about that. Alright. I love how these springs are so happy. You know? Alright, anything over here? No... Yeah, something is. Oh wait, I think there might have been something in there actually. I'm gonna go back and check. Oh, whoa, that was close. But I'm gonna go back and check it out. Cause this this place is too suspicious not to be holding any secrets. Am I right? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Jumping around like an idiot. Jump, Mega Man. All right, let's just get out of here. Fuck it. All right. How about this one? Are there anything? Is there anything hidden in here? This looks virtually the same. Oh, hello. There's a hornet. Hornet, run away. Right, I don't, I'm satisfied there's nothing in here. Yeah, let's show it off. Maybe the monkey will get disappointed in us again. You know, like the disappointing, disappointed looking swan Pokemon in Generation 5. That thing is hilarious. When I first saw like this, like there was like a pre-release photo of that thing. And I just, I just like love that thing. It's like it's, it looks so disappointed in you. I'll flash a picture up of, of on the screen right now. If you haven't seen it. Maybe if I remember to do so in editing. But I should, cause I'll be watching. I'll be pre-screening this video. Yep, that's a little arc on Matrix behind the scenes for you. I pre-screen each of my videos in editing, sync it, edit it, and do whatever to it. You know, stuff, good stuff. Alright, let's see here, nothing, still nothing, um, okay then, boing, 
Alright. I don't think there will be anything in this one either, but just to check. Nah, this is useless. Even if there was something in there, I don't think it's much... It's very important. I don't think it's much important. Much important. Dude, go down the freaking stump. Even though this shouldn't be possible, because... I don't know. Okay, sleeping wiggler there. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't want to... I think there was something behind him. Okay. Um, I want to go back in. Go back in. There you go. Now, let's see if we can sneak behind him. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. You can still get it. Akira Kirkhole. Oh, my bag is full. Yeah. See, no. I would take that blue rupee. My wallet wasn't full. Grrr. Okay. We'll throw away an able juice. Able plays juice. Alrighty then. And we'll just keep on going through these square passages. Right, um, this place looks not fun, so we'll just leave. And back down to an area like this. Let's stomp this thing. Hey, wake up. Wake up, buddy. Fine, I'll just stand on top of you. Alright, we'll run past the rat. Or maybe not. Damn ratatouis. Ratatas, ratatouis, rat funks, whatever you want to call it. Rat fucks. I think is what I called them earlier in this video. Yay! Yeah, see, that's what I'm ta that I was talking about way earlier on. If you get, like, more damage on the turn after you get a once again flower, then you get another one and another one, and you can just keep going if you get damage to the max. To the max! Max powers! Alright. Avoid all that, because I don't need the experience. Yeah, you, do, you really don't need a lot of experience in this game. Oh, God. Yeah, there's really not a whole point at, the, at which you need to, like, grind in this game for, like, experience and levels or anything, because... I don't know, it's a, it's a fairly easy game, except for a select few boss fights, maybe, but... Really, not even those are all that hard if you just plan well. If you have a good strategy going into this game, you're pretty much set. Honestly. Okay, I know there is something hidden in this area anyways. Alright. Yep. And for those of you who are confused by what by what what by why I'm using two different save files, okay, the brown cow jumps over the blue moon. Alright, there it is. A red essence. Red essence. Have I picked up any of those in this thing yet? No, it doesn't look like that's the first one. Um Well, red essence, you won't be attacked for th for three turns during battle. Yes, so those are very useful later on. I'll throw away another able juice. I don't think able juices are very useful. Really. Alright, there's a mushroom there. Um and you know what I don't need it. Okay, yeah. So you might be confused as to why I'm using two save files. It's just for backup, really. Hey, whoa, it's Gino. But I think that if I take something, there's like a certain path and I, there's a guy you can talk to in Rose Town, he'll tell you what it is. But I think it's like left, left, straight, right. Maybe, yeah, it looks like it. Looks like I may have done it. Oh my god, I'm such a nerd at this game if I memorize that. And I, last time I played this, like, this section of the game was over, over like, six months ago. But anyways, you get a massive healing supply and a frog coin, sweet. There's probably a hidden chest somewhere in here, but oh well. Yeah, so you, that's something you definitely do not want to miss, because it can help you extremely in the areas to come. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, where are all these arrows coming from anyways? I wonder. Oh god. Right. Ah, okay, go away. Jeez. What are we copying Zelda with the Lost Woods here? What the hell? Alright, so Gino's going this way. Come on, we gotta catch up with him. Uh, I didn't see him. Oh! Don't confuse me someone else all right guys sorry about that all well, about the battle but I kind of I kind of like resumed again and stopped talking too but oh well oh god am I taking the right path I sincerely doubt it oh, oh I'm being ambushed by these stupid thorn it what how dare you well at least Mal has this antidote pin oh that knock knock shell seems to miss a lot I don't know it's been missing like a hell a ton I'm not one to use the expression hella or the prefix hella before certain words, but 
Oh, looks like we're just about out of time. Come on. We can finish this battle in the time limit, can't we? We got still like 40 seconds. Yeah, we can do this. Especially since Mallow is uber powerful now with his froggy stick. Alright. So, um, yeah, that's going to end it for this episode. Uh, 462 coins, not too bad. Alright. So, thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.